Hi guys, it's Isla back with another product review. This time it's the L'Oreal Makeup Designer Paris LA Palette Lip Cream Matte and Highlighter. And this is in the color Plum. Um, this is um, something that I got from Buzz Agent. Uh, they had three different colors. They had nudes, they had pinks, and they had plums. Uh, I, cho I chose plum because purples look better on my lips. Um, while some of the pinks I probably would not have been able to wear convincingly enough because they were like dusty pink and light pink and I think only hot pink looks good on me and like pink pink so and nudes I do not do nude lips <laughs> it looks horrible on me because it's never a match it's always brown and <laughs> so I don't even do nude lips if you watched any of my other unboxings where I got nude stuff yeah doesn't work. Um, so this was an interesting palette. Um, I don't really care for products that you have to apply with a lip brush just because of uh, the not the not convenience of it, but also the fact that you're. I don't use a lot of cream products either, um, and so just having a brush that has wet stuff on it just seems kind of icky to me. But I got over it, especially since I'm going to be unboxing something that I got in a haul, which I did use for this, because of, with this palette, they give you three different looks on the back um, to try, which is good because I'm a novice at actually doing anything with multi-tones. So I'm actually wearing the Plum Knockout, which is this middle one, and I don't think you can see anything. Yeah just looks like one colored meme right now <laughs> basically to do the plum knockout you use uh, one two three four you use this kind of a purple magenta color um, all over your lips then you use this dark purple color um, at your cupid's bow and in the center of your lips on the lower lip and then use the shimmer highlighter on all of your edges of your lips. Um, interesting. Um, I don't know about how dimensional it really looked. And also, just like a lot of lip products on me anyway, it does not cover my inner lip. Or at least it doesn't stay for like a second. <laughs> um, and that's after I exfoliated, I scrubbed, I tried to let it dry before I touched my lips together it still didn't do anything. So I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 because I liked the idea, the tutorials. You can do three different looks. Um, it does come with a nice lip brush. Uh, I'm trying, uh, there, I'm white. <laughs> so it's a nice size lip brush. Um, nice size, nice colors, I would say. Um, I don't know this one or this one though. Probably I will not wear the second one because it looks too dusty rose to me and this one probably wouldn't do anything. But all of these other colors I would use, that one looks maybe too dark for me. But I mean it's a good nice palette for that. But I gave it a three star because of the coverage. If I just wanted the color on the outside and not ever open my mouth, then that would be a good idea for like photo shoots or something. <laughs> but not for use. Um, but this does give me ideas. Um, why I chose the Plum Knockout is because it looked less vampy than this Plum Goddess, this really dark purple one. And it's not me. And this one, Exotic Orchid, is way too pale. <laughs> so I went with the one that I thought I could pull off. And I mean, I like the colors, but I don't know if you can actually tell uh, that I'm wearing anything different than one color. So, nice thing to try, especially if you like to play around with things. Um, it does not have on the back, they don't have names for the colors, but they, get num they have numbers and they tell you if they're cream or matte. And basically it looks like there's one, two, three, four, there's five creams and there's two mattes and then the highlighter over here. So, some variety, if you're just a matte girl, then only two seems kind of stupid. I I actually don't really care for matte. I like 
shimmer I like shine so it works well for me if only covered so anyway thank you for watching bye